All right, so just want everyone to see here a couple things. So this patient is here for lateral hip and knee pain. And you see this initial contact on the medial calcaneal tubercle creates, if you bend to my course, an internal rotation of the tibia, right? So torsion and compression is bad news for for the knee joint, so she's having some knee joint pain, and the external rotators of the hip are fighting this excessive internal rotation, both excessive in duration and magnitude, and so that's the trochanteric pain that she's having. The other thing that's kind of interesting as you watch this, you see that uh, she's uh, struggling to walk a straight line, and that's another issue that happens People have unresolved frontal plane issues. So that means your rear foot, that subtalar joint, can't cope and compensate for the demand that her forefoot varus is requiring it, and that extra motion has to be dealt with in the hip. And a lot of times it sends the center of gravity outside the base of support. And so you get patients that do kind of meander on a treadmill.